These are the Cool Will Hover Shoes. These are very similar to a hoverboard. Obviously the main difference here is that each foot is independent on its own hover shoe. If you've ever tried a hoverboard, this will feel very familiar to you. In my opinion, it's not quite as stable, but it's much more versatile. The best way I can describe what riding this is like is if you can imagine that you have roller blades, but you just never take your foot off the ground. Out of the box, this comes with the two hover shoes, a nice little storage pouch, and the charger to charge each of these hover shoes. I'm very impressed with the overall quality of these hover shoes. They're made of solid material that's very durable. It's also IP65 rated. What this means is that it's dust tight and it's protected against spraying water. While I don't necessarily endorse that you do this, I myself have taken this through some puddles of water and it did just fine and it still works great. Both of these units together weigh about 15 pounds, which is light enough that it's easy to carry around. If you do carry it for a long time, it does tend to get a bit heavy. But one other nice thing about this is it's compact enough I can put this in my backpack and carry it in my backpack. These hover shoes go about 7 miles an hour. The wheel has an outer diameter of 3.5 inches, and you'll notice that it has a really smooth tread here. Because of the smooth tread, I noticed that it doesn't really do well on bumpy asphalt or textured cement. Also, when going over cracks on a sidewalk, if you hit a large crack, it might stop the hover shoe. The hover shoes have a max range of about six miles and it can be charged in about two to three hours. Learning how to ride this thing is a lot of fun. So I have quite a bit of experience with a hoverboard and so getting on this seemed pretty familiar and pretty easy, though I would say this has a little bit more of a steep learning curve. I had a friend come over one day and he brought all his kids and they all tried this out and, and I must say kids seem to really pick this up fast. One thing I would recommend is if possible you could practice this on carpet. It's a little bit easier to learn on the carpet. A cool thing about these hover shoes is that if you lift your foot off the hover shoe, it can actually keep going. And this allows you to do some cool things if you want to learn some tricks. Another thing I really like about these hover shoes is that you can move each foot independently. I think this makes it a little more difficult to ride than a hoverboard, but it also makes it a lot more fun. Overall, I've had a ton of fun with these hover shoes. I'm very impressed with the quality and how much fun these things are. The only annoyance I have had with these is sometimes they don't seem to auto balance. I found the easiest solution for that is just to turn it off and turn it back on again and then it will immediately balance. I would definitely recommend this for anyone in the whole family. It's just a ton of fun to have. I will post a link below to show you where you can buy it and check out the current price.